Instagram influencer Alexis Sharkey has been found dead in Houston after family and friends feared she was missing. According to local news station KHOU11, police say that Alexis's nude body was found off the side of a road on Saturday. An investigation into her death is reportedly ongoing. The 26-year-old's mother tells the station that she was notified about her daughter's disappearance from Alexis's husband, Tom. She says that Alexis was supposed to meet up with friends to watch movies on Saturday, but wasn't responding to phone calls or texts, and that she was last heard from on Friday evening. Now, her mother tells KHOU11 that she believes Alexis was murdered, saying that she trusts her mother's gut. Alexis and Tom moved to Houston in January. A friend tells the outlet that the couple have been going through a rough patch in their relationship, saying that Alexis told her they were filing for divorce. Tom has shared several posts on Facebook grieving the loss of his wife, writing in part, quote, You made life so incredible, made sense of my existence, my purpose, and showed me how to truly love. A GoFundMe campaign has been created to raise money for Alexis's memorial. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 9. And it reads, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. First and foremost, I just want to give all praises, glory, infinite honor to my power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit. And with that, Mashana, Kabawadim Lahasakwanim, Shal Gadawarakab, which is double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom honors and salutations to Bayasha Dawada, which is the house of David, representing the elect of Israel, being the so called Negro, Latino, Native American Indians, Israelite foreigners. All right, with that, it's your fellow servant, Malak Raya, which back at it again with another video uh, through the spirit of prophecy, which is the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right, the Savior of Israel and, and, and the Israelites only, all right, uh, who died for the remission of the sins of the nation of Israel, all right? Um, and, and, and of those sins includes uh, adultery, all right? And idolatry, all right? And th those strongholds and stumbling blocks are, are of the many strongholds and stumbling blocks pursuing 2 Corinthians 10 and 4 uh, that are being destroyed uh, by the Holy Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem and Shai, man, especially in these perilous times of living in these last days where all of these ending prophecies are simultaneously happening, man. All right, because we're at the end of this thing. That is the end of Esau, Edom's rulership, that ancient, uh, that, that, that old ancient serpent called the devil. All right, the deceiver of the entire world. All right, deceiving the entire world into indulging in these unclean spirits. All right, uh, through his modern day uh, pagan Greco Holy Roman Empire, in which image of that empire is, is America, Babylon all over again, Babylon the Great, man. All right, and those unclean spirits pursuing a revelation, the 18th chapter, and the third verse is exactly why. There's a lot of terrible judgment, uh, uh, you know, being unleashed, um, you know what I'm saying, upon, uh, you know, the mass of the people in these, uh, in these last days. And that includes you women. All right. Because the Lord is not a respective persons, man. All right. That's why the Lord is, is terrible, is bringing terrible judgment upon you women more so in these last days. And he will continue. All right. Because we're living in these last days, man. We're uh, pursuing the second edges, 8 and 50. Many miseries shall be done to those who dwell in the world because they dwell in great pride and pride is, a, a, is another of those, uh, uh, you know, what I'm saying uh, um, um, unclean spirits of uh, of this world. OK, ran by the devil under under the the dominion of the devil. All right. Proceeding to Job 9 and 24, Esau Eden, the self-proclaimed white man, the man of sin and son of perdition, whom the first one, uh, whom whom Eve, OK, a woman, you know, what I'm saying made that covenant of death with the devil. OK. All right, the 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 physical manifestation of uh, the spiritual demon Satan, the author of confusion and the ruler of uh, uh, and the uh, and 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 the uh, you know the 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 uh, you know the prince of the air. All right, pursuing the Second Corinthians four and four, man. All right, of this world, you know what I'm saying that's that's within the shadow of death, which is iniquity. All right, and and and, and iniquity, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying is is uh, you know counted. You know what I'm saying? As a, you know what I'm saying? As, as a luxury for people, as a lifestyle that is, man. All right? Including whoredom. You know what I'm saying? And adultery. That's why this woman here got put to death, man. All right? You know, because she, uh, this, 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 uh, Instagram, this so-called Instagram influencer, Alexis, uh, uh, Sharky, you know, you know what I'm saying? Got put to death, you know, found nude, man. All right? Because she was married, you know what I'm saying? But she wasn't upholding her end of the bargain as a married woman because pursuing um, the book of Titus, I believe it is, it says that a married woman is supposed to be a home 
you know what I'm saying, chaste and discreet, you know what I'm saying, ruling the household of her king or her, her, her man, her husband, you know, her everything, you know what I'm saying, on this earth, all right, her guardian, that is, you know what I'm saying, all right? And, you know, nowhere in the scripture does it say that a woman's supposed to be at home, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, provoking other men, you know what I'm saying, through, through uh, sexual provocations and lust, all right? And 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 uh, like it says in the book of First John, uh, lust of the eyes is, is not of the father, okay? Because these women are very carnal minded, all right? Why? Because they made that they that uh, Eve, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're they're suffering the fate of Eve, making that covenant with death, you know what I'm saying? With the old serpent, all right? And that is the the, the, the knowledge of uh, you know what I'm saying, of the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of this world, which is iniquity, man, the shadow of death, and that's why you know what I'm saying death is hoving around you, women, man. All right, that's why this this uh, including you 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 women that have uh uh, uh husbands especially because this woman like I mentioned was married man and she was she was talking about divorcing her husband that's wickedness man all right because it tells you in Second Corinthians eleven and two you know what I'm saying the Lord espoused the children of Israel to one husband himself the heavenly Father as our spiritual husband you know because dealing with order in Second Corinthians uh uh in that same chapter around the, I believe uh, the third or fourth verse. It mentions how, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, it mentions order, how the Heavenly Father, you know what I'm saying, the, the supreme and omnipotent is rule of all creation, the ancient of all days. Then you have men, the men of Israel, you know, then you have, you know what I'm saying, you have every other man, uh, any, every other man on the planet, then you have women, all right, because women, women were created to be a helpmeet, all right, an incubator for her man, her king, her husband, her guardian, okay, that a one husband, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get there real quick. And that's why a lot of you women are getting judged out here, man. There's terrible judgment uh, being, uh, being unleashed upon you women, man. You know what I'm saying? And and, and there's there's a lot of recent uh, incidents, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to bring out in a few articles and a few different, you know what I'm saying, videos and whatnot and filter them through biblical prophecy because, you know, uh, 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 you know a lot of you women, whether you're attractive or not, you're going to be getting uh, a, a judge uh, severely by the Lord, man. All right? Because you're because of your, your, uh, 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 your wicked lifestyle, man. Look at lifestyles, okay? So this is uh get this quick precept in Second Corinthians. Uh, all right, it's Second Corinthians chapter eleven. All right, and I'm gonna start at uh, let me get verse two. All right, and it says, "For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, because con, because the, the heavenly Father, the Most High God, is the supreme and omnipotent God of all gods, man. So he doesn't he doesn't like idolatry. Going into the first commandment in Exodus uh, twenty three, um, how Thou shalt serve no other God besides him. And, and women, pursuant to the prophecy in Jeremiah 31 and 22, were, were, uh, uh, were prophesied to be reverenced and worshipped as gods on this earth. Going back to that wicked Jezebel spirit, man. All right. Which is the same desire of Jezebel. All right. You know, the, the queen of harlots, if you will, that, that, uh, that, that dwelled in Eve. All right. Because that, that, that shadow of death was enticing to her. That, that you know what I'm saying? The wisdom, not your understanding of this world. Well, you know what I'm saying? It was like an enticing fruit. That's why, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that uh, uh, the iniquity mentioned, you know what I'm saying, in that parable in, in Genesis 3rd chapter was symbolic of that fruit, right? And an appealing, um, you know, an appealing substance to the human eye. And once again, the lust of the eye is ungodly with the heavenly, uh, within the eyes of the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yashai, okay? And that's why Apostle Paul, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, was, was often going into the battle uh, against the flesh, because the flesh is, your, uh, is our ultimate enemy, man, all right, because in this spiritual warfare, you know what I'm saying, between righteousness and evil, iniquity, you know what I'm saying, uh, the battle starts with self, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, especially when you look in the mirror, you know what I mean, so, um, you know, you know, one, one, once, once, you, once you realize and acknowledge that you're in a spiritual war, whether you acknowledge it or not, man, there's, there's, there's spirits out here, okay, and if, if, and if, if the, 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 uh, the holy hedge of the protection all right, going into the mark mentioned in Ezekiel 9 and 4 is not hoving around you, all right, or pursuing that Ezekiel the ninth chapter, all right, uh, anywhere from the fourth to the sixth verse, then you're vulnerable to these elements out here, you know what I'm saying, to these spirits of vengeance, all right, you know, so going into Jeremiah 31 and 22, you know, a woman was to compass a man and be and worship above a man, okay, and the Lord is fed up with that spirit, all right, that stronghold and that stumbling block, man, so it says, for I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, okay, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Hamashiach, okay, and, and, and going to uh, you know, etymology of that word, a virgin, uh, especially mentioned in Isaiah 7 and 14, you know, it, it goes into, a, you know, a, um, an unmarried damsel or unbetrothed damsel, okay, 
where a, where a, when a woman is is uh, 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 you know seen wandering around in the field without a husband, a man could uh, uh, approach that woman, all right, seize her, has his wife, then pay the father fifty shekels of uh, 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 you know fifty uh, fifty shekels of silver, and that was his wife, and he was not to put away his wife, otherwise that would, that would be adultery, depending on the circumstances, you know what I'm saying? So she was wicked. And yeah, and it, you know, what I'm saying he had justifiable reason to put away because she was a harlot and whatnot. Then a bill of divorcement was uh, was permitted. You know what I'm saying? But otherwise, if he just wanted to put away, to put away, because he didn't he didn't like the way whatever the case may be, some kind of minor folly, then that's adultery. You know, and, and you woman, you and you women, you know, more, more so dealing with the women, you were all, you you were only uh, created to serve one man, one husband. So the the, the fact that this so called uh, influencer. This uh, so-called Instagram influencer was was looking to, you know, what I'm saying, uh, you know, inf you know, uh, uh, you know, seek adultery. You know, she she was seeking to play the harlot, man, when she was already she was she already had a husband. OK. And, I, and that, that factors into why the Lord uh, brought terrible judgment upon her, man. Hence why he's going to bring a lot of terrible judgment upon a lot of you other women, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's been there's been, uh, you know, what I'm saying, uh, um, you know, a plethora of different. You know what I'm saying? Incidents as of recently, as I mentioned, you know what I'm saying, including this this uh this harlot here, that um, you know what I'm saying, uh stay at home uh mother or stay at home wife down in Alabama who had a uh you know what I'm saying ulterior uh or, or a you know what I'm saying alter ego online known as cat, you know, as it says here, authorities allege that uh West, all right, her husband, murdered his wife, forty two year old Kathleen Dawn Cat West, you know, and Cat was just, her nickname, uh, you know, abbreviation of her name also, you know what I'm saying, a reference to her uh, her quiver, her vagina, okay? Because she's promoting promiscuity, uh, promiscuity okay? And, and lust, play, uh, uh, preying on the flesh of men, uh, because they know that that, that men are, are, are natural uh, hunters, man, all right? The true breadwinners, true guardians, you know? So we, 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 uh, you know, we, we like to go after what we desire, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and what we need, okay? And these women know that, man. That, that's pretty goes into why... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, these, these women are demons, man. All right? Because she'll wear a provocative outfit, you know what I'm saying, to ensnare you. That's why in Ezekiel, it's like Ecclesiastes 7.26, it says, the heart of a woman is of bands and snares, meaning traps. Because she uses her she uses her sex appeal of, of lust to prey on the flesh of men to uh, to ensnare them for wicked uh, intentions. All right? For money, attention, or whatever have you. And the Lord is tired of that, that, that madness, man. And that's why he's judging a lot of you women, man. You know, like Vanessa Green. I'm about to get into her shortly. You know, that so-called soldier. She was a weapons specialist down, down there in San Antonio. And she was only 18 years old when she reported that she was being sexually assaulted. All right. But if you women were, uh, obey the, 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 uh, the righteous uh, law, statute, commandments of the Lord and stayed at home, especially if you're uh, in a relationship, if you're married, rather. You know what I'm saying? If, you're, if, you're, if you have a, a, a man, you're supposed to stay at home and, and, and keep the household up for your man. To appease your man, not to appease other men. OK, you know, you know, case in point, you know, you know, ain't no careers for women. A, 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 the only career for a woman is serving her man. You know what I'm saying? That's not for the goes into why um, this world is, it, it, you know, it, um, it's ran upside down, man. You know, pers uh, pursuing Isaiah 29 and 16 by, by he who is ruling it. The man is sent his son of perdition because he gets a kick out of destruction by continuing with the righteous, um, you know, the, the righteous vibration of Yahweh by Shemeshai's righteous will, man. All right. So this this 42 year old woman, Kathleen Dawn Cat West, you know, was found uh, uh, deceased outside of her home. Where they lived, where, where, where her and her husband lived with their daughter, who was 12 years old. That's cold, man. The Lord put a spirit of vengeance on this on this man to put his wife to death, knowing that they had a child together. You see, that's how cold the Heavenly Father is, man. All right. Here's another situation. All right. Uh. Brittany Ray of Phillips, model mom of two, ran over, you know, says killed by former cop ex-boyfriend. Okay? See that that see that's that adultery, man. It's saying be no ex-boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? She should have stayed with him. That that go that factored into her judgment, man, because that's adultery. You see what I'm saying? So it says a Mississippi model mother of two children has been identified after a man ran her over. That's cold, man. That's hey man, the Lord is cold, man. Tells you in uh Deuteronomy 721, he is a terrible power. Uh, the, the heavenly father, the most high God, the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob is a terrible power. He's not he's not a happy go lucky, uh, jolly, um, you know, overly, uh, you know, uh, merciful God. Hell no, nah, man. He's a balanced power. 
He's only uh, his 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 mercy is only plenteous towards his saints. You know, what I'm saying the the lost to a tribes of Israel. You know, what I'm saying you so called Negro, Latino, Native American Indians, Israelite foreigners. You look like the heathen. All right, he doesn't care about anybody else. That's why he set Israel above uh, every other nation he created very high, man. And, and, and pursuing of Deuteronomy seven and six, and we we did not hold up our end of the bargain, being espoused to our one spiritual husband through the holy covenant. Pre, all right, pursuing the Exodus the nineteenth chapter, another precepts, man. And that's why we're, we're jacked up now. And that's why we're you know what I'm saying the majority of us are in dire straits, living in impoverished situations, man, in the ghettos, barrios, any reservations. Okay, you know what I'm saying by way of the the spirits, the unclean spirits that we uh, that we subdued ourselves to, man, including adultery. You know what I'm saying, including uh, lust. Lasciviousness, you know what I'm saying? Greed, you know? Lusting after another man's woman. You see, and that's what these women, and that's just one of the snares of a woman, man. To 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 uh ensnare a man to lust after her, knowing that she knowing damn well she got a husband, man. You see? And that's another reason why this woman got put to death. This Mississippi model, just like the uh Instagram influencer. And what was the Instagram influencer influencing women to do, being that she was married, influence women to be demons, to be adulteresses, man. You know what I'm saying? Sucker business, if you will. All right. All right. Uh, uh, haughty, stiff neck, rebellious women. And Lord, uh, the Lord ain't got no love for them type of women. That's why he he's judging them terribly, man. All right. More so now than ever before, because we're getting closer and closer to the end of this devil's rulership and the beginning of the kingdom of heaven being established on this earth to the saints, man, under Yahweh Shai's rule, man. All right. So it says here, Mississippi model, mother of two children, has been identified after a man ran her over, intentionally killing her, according to police. All right, she, she was 30 years old, all right, and she was, she was 26 years old, oddly enough, the same age as the um, Instagram influencer that got put to death, all right, and her 30-year-old uh, ex-husband, which is, you know, uh, ex-boyfriend, uh, same thing, and there ain't no such thing as a boyfriend in the Bible, um, you know what I'm saying, which is also a, a, a former cop, through the spirit, put her to death, man, okay, and there's countless other, there's countless other incidents that have happened, including Vanessa Guillen. I'm going to get into her shortly, you see. You know, she was a so-called soldier in Esau's military, 18 years old, when she reported, you know, that she was sexually assaulted, and she got put to death, all right? She got she got put to death, chopped, uh, 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 where she was she was chopped, she was dismembered, and burned, man. That's that's terrible judgment, man, all right? Terrible judgment, what happens? See, the Lord is not playing with, with the wicked, these people, man. It tells you in Job 12 and 6, uh, the sin and the sinner is his. Okay, so he's not with the, the, these sinful people on this earth, man. So that, go, that goes into the fear of Yahweh by Shem and to keep his commandments, man. Or wind up like these people. So I'm going to get a uh, matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and get. I'm going to go ahead and get it since I mentioned it. Deuteronomy, matter of fact, con con. All right. Deuteronomy 7 to 21. There's a bunch of precepts going on in my mind. I want to make this video re uh, relatively short, but it's all through the spirit. Deuteronomy 7 21. Thou shalt not be affrighted at them, for the Lord, Yahweh, thy power is among you, a mighty power and terrible. Okay? And why is he terrible? Because he's known, he, he's also known for this. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6 says, The Lord, Yahweh, killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and he bringeth up. So he's, he's a ruthless killer in righteousness, man. So if you're wicked, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you're not, if, if you're not, you know, uh, you know, pondering on getting yourself right in righteousness, all right, and you can wind up out. You can wind up out here. You know, what I'm saying like these people. Case in point, the Lord will give you. He'll make your 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 greatest fears uh, snares to your death. Okay. You know, what I'm saying as calamity. That's why you know, what I'm saying a, a woman's one of a woman's greatest fears is is being put to death, is being uh, sexually assaulted, even to death, being uh, uh being overcome in, in, in strength by a man or, or by somebody who can overpower her, which is a man. Okay, being being put to death and shame. And that's and that's uh that example I mentioned is of no exception, man. And see, you women out here, you you like like you know what I'm saying, like this like this woman, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh going into, you know what I'm saying, uh uh the the, the reverence of the Queen of Heavens uh, uh worship in Jeremiah forty four, I'm I'm going in reference to, you know what I'm saying, in precepts. Because the, the, the reverence of a woman goes back to the queen of heaven worship. That a man, a woman is, is supposed to be uh, reverenced over a man. That's madness and folly, man. Pursuing of Genesis 2 and 18 and Genesis 3 and 16, it goes into the order of a woman. You know, all right? Including the role of a woman, you know what I'm saying? Established by the Lord to serve her man, serve her one husband. Okay? Amen. So there's a lot of judgment going out here, man.
Right, Vanessa Guillen, 19 years old, died a gruesome death. Dismembered and her, her members burned up, man. Okay? You see? You know, when the Lord is so cold, he put this woman to death, the 26-year-old Instagram influencer, and then started sending death threats, uh, uh, spirits, other spirits of vengeance towards her husband. You can see here. Okay? Alex Sharkey's, Alexis Sharkey's husband, Tom, says he's getting death threats following Instagram influencer's death. So there's a whole bunch of judgment going around here, man. All right? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get this next precept. All right? And um, Ezekiel chapter 9, start at verse 4. All right? It reads, And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads. And I get that mark is going to the mark of exemption. Okay? Not the mark of the beast, but a mark of exemption. Okay? Which is the holy hedge protection. All right? From terrible judgment. Um, from Yahweh by Shem Yashai, man. So it says, and set upon a set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay, verse five. And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite, let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. So hey man, these, these spirits, these 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 uh who is this command given to? All right, death angels, man. All right, and these 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 angels don't have feelings, okay. Just like in the time of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, you know what I'm saying? We had, you had uh, men and women, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, you know, indulged in, indulging in wicked, abominable acts, you know what I'm saying? All right? Uh, including uh, adultery, sodomy, you know what I'm saying? And that, and that goes into that, the whole orgy spirit that was upheld in the uh, pagan Greco-Holy Roman Empire that's heavily kept now in, this, in, this modern day, uh, in the modern day image of that empire. Because America is that empire all over again. That's why the Lord is bringing terrible judgment upon this place called America. To, you know, saying using this place as a further example on, on on what not to do, okay? Through the signs he's using to visit the world in Second Ezra uh, chapter nine verses one on down, okay? Through his terrible judgment, man. All right, including including these these uh these these different incidents of terrible judgment that we hear, okay? Including you women and children, okay? You know, and that's why this this uh that goes into why this this uh, woman here. You know what I'm saying? So-called woman. Because woman means servant. You, you women don't, you, 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 you females haven't lived up to that name, but hence, some, you know, a case in point. You know what I'm saying? You had this woman here, only fans female, all right, that was flaunt. She was, she was, she was flexing online, okay? Flexing online with cash and jewelry and whatnot. You no, know, being a harlot, you know what I'm saying? You know, being, being, being a, a, a covetous, uh, deceiving harlot. You know, in the midst of this this uh, Rona situation, we got a lot of people getting furloughed and a lot of people suffering by way of the effects of this Rona. Case in point, on a side note real quick, you got 12.6 million people reported to, uh, uh, um, expected to be, um, lose their, their benefits, their uh, government benefits on uh, post so-called Christmas Day, okay? The day after Nimrod and Semiramis will be worshipped greatly, all right? And, uh, uh, the Queen of Heaven, Semiramis, man. Oddly enough. So the day after Queen of Heaven worship, Semiramis Day, all right, along with Nimrod on December 25th, the day after that, on the 26th, you're going to have a lot of people scheduled to lose their, un their unemployment benefits. Then the, uh, the rent moratorium ends on January, uh, December 31st, so-called New Year's Eve. So it's not, a, it's not a coincidence, man, that we're in, we're in a, the, the, um, the darkest time of the year uh, weather-wise, you know what I'm saying, figuratively and literally, you know, in the midst of this pagan holiday season, which is the most evil time of the year, for the confirming that uh, America is, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 Babylon the Great, in modern day Greece and modern day Rome all over again. See, so around this time, you still have women and people in general, including you women, being proud as hell, you know what I'm saying, flexing online, man, flexing in general to the public, you know what I'm saying, that's really mockery, you know what I mean, because that goes into pride and, and um, uh, pride is one of the six things the Heavenly Father Yahweh hates, Priscilla Proverbs, the sixth chapter. And you women are the, 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 some of the most proudest creatures on this earth. So case in point, you know, going into how, you know, uh, uh, you women and your children are being judged. This, uh, this OnlyFans female, all right, got robbed right in front of her son. So that spirit of vengeance, those spirits of vengeance that were on these men that broke into her home could have put her to death in front of her son or vice, or, or vice versa or, or simultaneously. Okay, and the Lord uses this as another, you know, another uh, example, uh, you know what I'm saying, on why a lot of you women are going to be judged, man. All right, 
And a lot of children are going to be judged too, because once again, the Lord is not a respected person. It's pursuing Acts 10 34. Okay, so it says, Only fan star pleaded with armed robbers not to shoot her in front of her son during terrifying home invasion. Said, uh, Only fan star Ansley Pacheco begged armed robbers, Don't shoot me. My son is here during a terrifying jewelry heist. The raid resulted in $102,000 worth being stolen from the Florida bikini model, including a 50,000 gold chain and a 30,000 33,000 watch. Okay. You know, see, and you know, attractive female, but she has a man. See, so what the hell is she doing online showing off her body? That's that's adultery, man. The Lord brought her judgment. She she's fortunate she didn't get put to death, man. Her her and her child, man. All right. But the Lord, the Lord might reserve her for later. You know what I'm saying? Because she Pacheco is a Hispanic name. So she looks like at least she was a Jake for the northern kingdom of Israel. So she don't repent. She gonna she gonna wind up like the the rest of these women uh mentioned in this in this uh in this video, man. Okay, like Vanessa Guillen. Okay. You know what I'm saying? This this demon here. Let me get her. All right. The Lord don't feel sorry for you, you, you women, man. Because he's the one that's bringing judgment upon you. All right. Vanessa Guillen, 19 year old soldier down, down there in Fort Hood. Okay. In Texas. So called weapon specialist. Put to death. Terribly. Okay. You know? So there's a, a lot of horrible judgment, man, going out here. Oh, another another one. Uh, this woman. Let me get her. Uh, th uh, where was she at? This woman here. Speaking of women and children, pregnant mom who disappeared on Thanksgiving found dead. Okay, says a young pregnant woman in Missouri. And this is recently. All these the majority of these incidents mentioned in this video are recent. Uh, uh, a hey, recent judgments, man. So it says a young pregnant woman in Missouri who was reported missing on Thanksgiving has been found dead. Police and her family said. The body Amethyst J. Killian, 22 of uh, St. Peter's, was discovered at noon Friday lying outside a residential block in her hometown just hours after relatives reported her missing at 8 p.m. on Thanksgiving when she failed to return home. So she was she was walking home. She was walking to uh, rather a uh, gas station at 1 a.m. in the morning being five months pregnant, man. That's pride. That's proud, man. As if she can't be touched. That's that's very unwise to do that. Put yourself in a, uh, you know, unadvantaged uh, situation or, or you know what I'm saying roughly paraphrasing you know a vulnerable uh, position as a woman a, a weaker vessel even that much more weak considering her pregnant condition and she still uh decided to make that journey and the Lord judged her for it man you know what I'm saying so going back to the precept Ezekiel uh I'm going to hit Ezekiel 9 and 6 here's the point slay utterly old and young both maids and little children Okay, including that, that little embryo in her stomach. And women, including the, the embryo that was in her stomach, before even manifested into a child. You know what I'm saying? That's how cold the Lord is. Okay? Slay utter, utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near upon any man whom is a mark and begin in my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. Okay? So the Lord gave the commands to these, these, these death angels, do not touch my elect with my mark of exemption over them. That includes elect women, men, women, and children of the one-third of Israel, okay? Prophesied to be spared from the Lord's terrible judgment these last days through his plagues, man, okay? All right, pursuing Zechariah tw uh, uh, 13 and 8, okay? All right, because and, 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 and who's not going to be spared regarding you women? Are you haughty, stiff-necked, proud women, man, all right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, showing off your body and being harlots, okay? It tells you uh, in Scripture a woman's supposed to be... Uh, uh, She's supposed to she's supposed to uh, dress in modest apparel in a book of uh believe that's uh matter of fact let me get that real quick, Salakia. All right. Uh believe that's 2 Timothy 1 and 9. All right, so this says uh Salakia. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna type it in. Uh modest apparel, okay. See women out here, you 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 showing your ass, showing your titties, showing your showing, you know what I'm saying, uh different parts of your body. That's 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 very dis, that's the Lord is very dis, displeased with that. Okay. So let me get uh all right, devil playing games with the search. Modest apparel. Put modest. All right, first Timothy two and I slack you. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety. Shamefacedness going to her um, you know, her, her, uh, her humility. All right. And, 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 and her, her position, you know, being, being shamefaced.
before her husband. All right. Not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. All right. Because that, that, that those gold and that, that jewelry. All right. Goes goes to uh, it goes back to uh, the Hindu goddess. All right. The Hindu goddess uh, Kali. OK. That's why she she decked out in jewelry. Look at this demon here. Jewelry all, all over the place. Uh, uh, tiara on her head. You know what I'm saying? Symbolizing, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 you know that queen, a wicked queen vibration. The etymology of queen goes into a harlot, man. All right, a promiscuous, uh, uh, a whorish woman. All right, and that's why that's glory. That spirit, that stronghold and stumbling block is 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 glorified in America, Babylon and Great. See, she, so see, and this is another. This is also symbolic of Jeremiah 31 and 22. How a woman would compass a man, which was to be a new thing on the earth. You see, and that's why a woman is, is worshipped as as God on earth. So it says Kali is a Hindu goddess or, Dev, or, or uh, of death, Devi, which is of the devil, because a, a woman is joint heirs to the devil. So it says of time as well, and a doomsday, and it's often associated with sexuality and violence, but it's also considered a strong mother figure and symbolic of motherly love, which go into so-called uh, Mother Earth, all right, a spinoff of uh, the Queen of Heaven, Semiramis, all right? That's why sexuality, you know what I'm saying, through lust, is heavily promoted here, all right, as a snare to entrap men. All right, that's why you see uh, these demons here, Cardi B and uh, Magna Stallion, you know what I'm saying, coming in the same spirit as uh, uh, Kali, the Hindu goddess of sexuality and violence, okay? That's, a, that's, a, that's the nature of a woman, man. What are, what's, what's promoted here in this song? Hey, violence and sexuality, case in point. You know, going into that WAP spirit, you know, wet ass pussy, you know, and going into a hey, hey, man, that's going into that that hor that horish promiscuous spirit, man. All right, and the Lord is tired of that. All right, and in case in point, real quick, you know, what I'm saying, uh, dealing with jewelry, you know, what I'm saying, you know, uh, you know, dealing with the uh, 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 the reverence of a woman, especially through uh, wedding rings of jewelry, you know, wedding rings is uh, idolatry, man. I'm just going to go ahead and touch base on that here briefly. So it says, uh, says uh, yeah, because uh, rings, all right, symbolize uh, authority. And that's why uh, Pharaoh, as it says here in this middle passage, gave, uh, uh, gave our forefather Moses his signet ring. All right. And that's why down here it says, it says, uh, I'm going to get this passage. It's like you. All right, so, all right, so where is it? So down here it says, all images of false gods and goddesses show the use of earrings, finger rings, bracelets, nose rings, and other jewelry. <laughs> Through the spirit, man. What does it say in the precept? All right. First Timothy 2 and 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold or pearls of costly array. Okay. So what this woman has on here, okay, you know what I'm saying, the so-called uh, influencer, uh, Instagram influencer, was not of modest apparel, man. Okay? That's not modest what she's wearing, and she's with her husband, showing her titties. That's wicked, man. She's supposed to, she's supposed to have her head covered, you know what I'm saying? She's supposed to have her body covered, but in Babylon, they condition women... You know what I'm saying to, to to be reverenced through this through this wicked uh, uh, vibration, all right, as a so-called queen, okay. You know what I'm saying a uh, 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 you know an image of superiority over the man. That's wicked, man. Now go into that Jezebel spirit. Even uh, uh, uh what's her name, Bersheba. So a uh, queen Bersheba had to bow down as King Solomon. You know, a top heathen queen, okay. She had to she had to subdue herself to the righteous glory of King Solomon. The, you know what I'm saying, which is Yahweh Shai reincarnation. She had to bow down before him. She had to, she, she had to subdue her, herself to him. She had no choice through the spirit, you know, because that's that spirit of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, was emulating too strongly through him. Okay? It's like it is with the rest of the men of Israel nowadays, man. All right? The elect men of Israel. All right? So this is uh, Jeremiah. Hit this, hit this real quick. Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 15. Salakia. All right? So Jeremiah... All right, chapter 
44 verse 15. It reads, And all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods, and all the women that stood by a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt, and Pathros answered Jeremiah, saying, As to the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of Yahweh, we will not hearken unto thee. But see, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing goes forth out of our own mouth, which is pride, to burn incense unto the queen of heaven. And to pour out drink offerings unto her as we have done, we and our fathers, our kings, our princes in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. For then had we plenty of victuals and were well and saw no evil. And victuals going into goods, you know what I'm saying, offered, all right, uh, for the intent of reverence. And that's why on only, only fans, that spirit has been, uh, has resurfaced and reemerged, okay, because there's nothing new under the sun where you have men offering themselves to women. By, by, by offering their money, their hard-earned money to them, to reverence them. These women know that, man, okay? And they, they pray off of it, you know what I'm saying? To further beast, boost their ego, to further reverence themselves in their own mind, man, all right? And that's why uh, you got this slut-shaming situation going on with Amber Rose and them, you know what I'm saying? Promoting that same spirit, that same haughty, whorish, ancient queen of heaven, Semiramis spirit, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that same spirit that dwelt in uh, Jezebel, you know what I'm saying? Eve and Queen Bersheba. All right, because a woman is desperately wicked, and that's why she should be kept at home, man. All right, so the woman has been used as a tool of confusion and death. Okay, where she, she, where she has been, like it says in Romans one and twenty six, the natural use of a woman has been changed, where she's supposed to be a delicate, uh, you know, comely uh, servant to her man, her husband, her one husband that she was espoused to, but yet. She's out playing a harlot, man. See? And, that, and, that, and that's, that's of those, those uh, unclean spirits as to why Babylon the Great is being judged, man. And the Lord is further showing omens and signs of this judgment, especially through you women, dealing with the subject of this video. Because you are not going to be exempt from this judgment, man. All right? Verse 18. But since we left off to burn incense to the queen of heaven and to pour our drink offerings to her, we have wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. All right, and see, a lot of these women mentioned in this video that got judged were judged by the sword, by the hand of their own husbands, man. That's how cold the Lord is. Here's the last verse, and verse 19. And when we burnt incense to the queen of heaven and poured out drink offerings into her, did we make her cakes to worship her and pour out drink offerings into her without our men? Okay. Without our men, Scripture says. All right, because a, a man has been demasculated in this, and you know what I'm saying? You know, especially in this in this society, going back to uh, ancient times, you know, what I'm saying by by way of uh, uh, unlawful decrees, all right, and and unlawful uh, laws of the land and laws of men, all right, that was to increase iniquity on in the earth, like it says in First Maccabees, all right, the first chapter around the seventh verse, man, all right, where the laws of of the heathen, all right, including the laws of our heathen, Esau, Edom, that old ancient serpent, the devil, all right, you know, increase iniquity on the earth, including whoredom, man. So now whoredom has been because iniquity has been uh, normalized and conditioned to be normalized, including whoredom. Okay, and the Lord is tired of that. All right, so we so we're not ignorant of these devil devices. We understand, uh, uh, you know, what I'm saying what these wicked vibrations go back to and why they promote certain things. All right, including whoredom. All right, which is why the porn industry is ran by Amalek. All right, when they and they prey over this this pornography. All right, you know, and that's why it's, a lot, it's, it's very addicting. Okay, because they once again they prey on the, on the fleshly desires of men. All right, because because Esau is a carnal-minded demon. That's why say, uh, uh, Psalm ten and four says, "The Most High Yahweh is not alone in his thoughts." All right, and 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 he he is he is proud and wickedness, just like these women are proud, pride, uh, proud and wickedness. Okay, including their whoredom. All right, so I'm gonna hit the next precept. You know what I'm saying? Ecclesiastes, chapter seven, uh, chapter seven, verse twenty-six. All right, it says. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets in her hands as bands, who so pleased the Most High shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. All right, so a lot of you, a lot of you men, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, you're being taken by these, these harlots on OnlyFans and whatnot, Instagram, these different social media platforms, where they're just stealing your energy. All right, that's all they're doing. All right, and they're really compromising your manhood and you're allowing it. All right, that's why you got uh, some men that are um, practicing what they call semen retention. It really is just another uh, way for a man to protect his manhood, protect his life force, his semen. Because really, you know what I'm saying, we're only supposed to be having sex to procreate. But you know what I'm saying, that further goes into why Esau is the devil and his joint heir, Eve, the woman. You know, representing the woman. Because 
you know, one of the snares of a woman is sex. And they, so they took sex, you know what I'm saying, and created it as a snare. But it was all prophesied to be that way. Where something beautiful to create life was, was, was to be used as a weapon. That's why the, the, the Hindu goddess uh, of uh, the Hindu goddess of sex and violence is exactly that, of sex and violence, you see, to attack men, okay, <laughs> you see, through sex and violence, amen, so you, amen, you can't make this stuff up, man, next precept, Sirach, that's why in Sirach, uh, Ecclesia, uh, Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach, it says what, uh, 25, verse 21, all right. It says, stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire not, her not for pleasure. See that 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 desire for a woman, or that carnal desire for a woman's beauty is, is of that of, of those many snares of a woman that, that is being used as weapons to destroy men. All right. Through the porn industry. So, all right. You know, what I'm saying hardcore and softcore. Softcore porn is, you know, what I'm saying includes social media uh, platforms, you know, what I'm saying where women are used as tools of, uh, of, de of sex and violence. To destroy men and to compromise the manhood of men and emasculate them. That's why you have the young thugs in the world, the, the, the Terry Crews of the world, where Terry Crews got his uh, his 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 uh, sack uh, fondled by another man in front of his wife and didn't do a goddamn thing, man. Okay, and he's a big, muscular, you know, what I'm saying, man in stature, but he's he's a punk. He's a he's a uh, he's a weak. He's he's a uh, you know, what I'm saying, he he's a uh, uh, you know, he he's he's of a, like a, a like a woman. You know, going into that prophecy in Jeremiah 31 and 22, okay, where a, a woman would compass a man. All right, next precept, Ecclesiasticus, all right, chapter 26, all right, I'm going to hit verse, uh, start at verse 9. So it says, the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids, okay, you know, like them, them women, the married women mentioned in this video that were on social media, you know what I'm saying, promoting whoredom, you know what I'm saying, which factored into the judgment. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. Okay? So, you know, even you know, so, you know, even though a woman's place is at home, East, uh, uh, the liberty of Esau's uh, uh, wine and fornication, which is of his Western philosophy, has conditioned women, all right, to be uh, 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 overly abused by that liberty. Okay? The implication that you could, you could, you could be what you want to be, worship what you want to worship, including yourself. You know, through self-idolatry and transhumanism and whatnot. You know, like it says in 2 Timothy, the third chapter, um, uh, men in these last days will be uh, uh, lovers of themselves, including you women. You know, through selfies, duck face selfies. You know what I'm saying? Like like, like uh, 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 Vanessa Gui in here. Let's get on her now. All right. Uh, all right, Vanessa Gui. Okay. At least she's it's a correct woman from Fort Hood. All right. All right, so, all right, where's she at? So here, Vanessa Gwynn, you know what I'm saying? Doing a, doing a selfie. All right, where is it at here? Here, here it is. You know what I'm saying? Doing a selfies, a lot of you women doing duck face selfies, you know, being uh, lovers of yourselves. That's, that's idolatry, okay? All right, when you look at some of her, a lot of her photos, you could tell she was a proud, uh, proud female, man. Okay? So our Lord got rid of her, all right, because 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 of the wickedness that she she was influencing women to indulge in, like that you know, Instagram influencer, okay. I mean that's why hey, a lot of terrible judgment, you know what I'm saying, going on, you know what I'm saying, being unleashed upon earth, all right. That's not going to go unaccounted for. That's that's not that's not going to stop rather Salakia for the slip up, but it's not going to stop, okay. You know, because the judgment, the the the, the uh, wickedness of of the people on this earth, not is not going to go unaccounted for. Okay, so you know, so here's another one. All right, dealing with spirits of vengeance. All right, TikToker, Maryland TikTok dancer. She uh, was was on TikTok, you know, being a harlot, and a man uh, <laughs> broke into her home. This was a couple of days ago, man. You see, around the time of winter solstice, where these devils require great. Human sacrifices. So that goes into that overmuch liberty, you know what I'm saying, that Esau gave you women. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I have, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Snaring you into a trick bag. Okay? That which is uh, that pit, death and destruction, pursuing in St. Matthew 15 and 14. For you follow in the shadow of death, iniquity. 
Okay. So it says a Maryland woman who's encountered with an intruder was caught on a video that went viral. It says a home invasion has shaken her and she wants to move. Okay. On November 22nd, a man climbed up to her balcony and entered her apartment through an open door. Okay. When he first opened the door, I was prepared for a few months to die. For a few moments to die, Viverette said, because that's her name, Viverette. Okay. See? So it's an omen, man, that hey, when Esau suspend this uh this 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 constitution, a lot of these things are gonna happen anyway. There's, there's not gonna be no 911 to call. You see? None of that. Alright? So take heed, hey. Hey, take heed, you, you careless daughters. The Lord is a terrible power, man. All right. First Timothy chapter five, verse 14. It reads, I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. So give not occasion to the adversary, Satan, the physical manifestation of him being Esau, the devil, to speak reproachfully. Okay. You know, you know, to 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 speak, you know, contrary to your natural order on how on, on how you were created and what your intention of being created was for, to confound your your true glory, which is to your husband. All right, and that that that's what's that's what's going to cause a lot of revilings for you, women, because right? you don't believe you don't believe in a higher power, you don't believe in Yahweh by Shemeshai as God. You believe the God of all gods. You believe in Esau as your God, who who has permitted you to do these wicked things to appease your flesh, in order to uh, uh, uh it says in Romans 8 and 8, a fleshly mind cannot serve you, how about Shemeshai? All right? That's why a lot of people are going to be destroyed in these last days. 1 Timothy.